Hello and welcome. My name is Geo from SwitchRPG.com. And uh, who, who, who am I talking to here? My name is Michael. Michael. I'm the Director of Business Development for Tiny Build. All right. We are talking about Undungeon right now. Now, Undungeon, if you're not familiar, is a roguelike game um, that is, uh, is it currently out on Steam or Wishlist available? Uh, I don't know if it's Wishlist available now, okay. but we've got a demo that will be coming out soon. Okay. Now, um, Undungeon was initially on a Kickstarter program, and I'm not entirely sure if the Switch um, goal was met, but I, are you bringing that to the Switch? So I don't know if we're mentioning consoles right now. It'll be PC for sure right now. Uh, as we get a little closer and, and, and through development, we'll have, we'll have more on that. Great, great. Now, are you a fan of roguelike games? I'm a huge fan of roguelike games, yeah. Huge fan of roguelike games. Now, what, what have you been playing as far as roguelike games? Oh, man. So probably the newest and, and, and most influential I play a lot with my kids uh, is Children of Morta. So that's been super fun. Uh, we, we love the, like the aspects of the gameplay. It's so easy to jump in and play with other people. So that's been great. Yeah, I totally agree. Even with Children of Morta, it not alone not only is it just a beautiful game, uh, it's got a great narrative. It tells a beautiful story um, as you progress. Um, do you know if Undungeon does something similar to that? It does. I'd say that's one of the coolest aspects of this game is really uh, all the visuals and the storytelling that goes through the visuals is is insane, right? So that's that's one of the reasons we fell in love with it and why we think fans will fall in love with it. Uh, that and, and the story itself is so unique of having these multiple universes all crash together and there's these heralds that are responsible for really saving everybody and so they're they're really kind of reborn at that moment uh, each character there's seven or eight we'll see what it ends up being uh, each one's got a separate play style separate special skills uh, completely different way of looking at the game and the way that you play it uh, so you're able to play the game seven to eight different times that, that's incredible. Now, um, what is the character progression uh, like? Are there uh, stats that you can function with? So some basic stats, uh, uh, most of it's really gear. Uh, and, and then also opening up uh, some of the higher level skills as you go through the game. Okay, it's pretty early, right? Uh, so as we, as we get deeper and deeper into the development and, and get closer, I think some of that stuff will start to make more sense. Uh, but right now it's really more geared towards the skill set. Gotcha. Now, uh, because it's kind of early, do they have uh, any idea as to how long the game time will be? Oh, that's a really good question. I don't know yet. You're not sure. No. I don't know. Okay. Now, um, now um, are you? Do you know um, what develop? What? Who were the developers? Do you know? So the developers, Laughing Machine. Yeah. So they're out of Ukraine. And how many people are on the, the staff there? Do you know? Oh, I don't know the exact number. It's a it's a, it's a smaller team, right? Standard kind of. Oh. In these develop. Develop. Yeah. Now, what made you guys uh, really want to jump into this? I know you kind of described it a little bit, you know, the visual style, the artwork, that sort of stuff. Was there anything else that really jumped out? I think it's two parts. I think it's, uh, you know, they had a successful Kickstarter campaign. Uh, anytime you see that people double or go 200% of their, their, their ideal play, Something's happening there, right? It's cool there, right? Uh, people, it's resonated. Uh, the other part of it is just, it's stunning to look at. And, and the developer did such a good job with the initial uh, I'd say uh, original cutscene and kind of the story they put together, that everyone's just like, oh my God, we just want more. Like, what is this thing and how do we get more? So when you see that and people are instantly drawn to whatever lore you're creating, then you have something special. Okay, cool. Now, when can we expect to see this on uh, PC or, or consoles even? That's a really great question. Uh, I want to say this is going to be probably late Q4, early Q21. All right, so we're really that, that. Uh, yeah, sorry. Q4 2020 or Q1 21, uh, and it may be later than that. Again, uh, for us, it's about it's tough to let you see me stumbling because I'm yeah. like, eh, what do I want to commit to? Uh, we don't want to commit to anything, right? For us, sure, like, it'll, it'll be ready when it's possible, ready. out when it's ready. Uh, so, yeah, excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your packs, and we'll go from there. All right, cool. Bye bye.